Christianity is that we're never condemned, never frustrated, never separated. That's a summary that Paul gives after giving all the doctrines of the, the doctrines, the seven doctrines of salvation. But each of these facets of salvation, defined by the doctrine of salvation, are the keys to walk through life confidently. See, you're confident if you know you're never going to be condemned. That, that people can remind you like they did Paul, that you killed my uncle, Paul, and he says, yep, I was the chiefest of sinners. I did kill your uncle and your aunt and probably your cousins too because I was the chiefest of sinners. But I found mercy and grace from the Lord. See, Paul never said, oh, I didn't do that. You know, it's kind of like this unfolding Olympian thing. I mean, every day we get a new version of the story of what happened at the gas station with our famous medalists, you know. God doesn't do that. God says that I have a purpose for you, and my purpose is that if you confess your sins to me and agree that you're a sinner, I wipe out the penalty and the record. And anybody can come to you and say, you did that, and you say, yes, I did that. But Jesus forgave me. That's why, remember when uh, John Newton, John Amazing Grace Newton, remember him? Uh, the, the great hymn writer in the court of, the, of royalty in, in England, he got Alzheimer's. Most people don't, I mean, what a fascinating, I mean, he was suffering from what, what, what we would call advanced Alzheimer's. He spent the last two years of his life in bed. They couldn't let him out. They kept him locked in the room. And they let everybody come visit him, though. And people used to line up all day long, and they'd walk through. They wanted to meet the amazing grace guy. And he would be in bed and he would smile at him and he said, he said the same thing all day long. I don't know who I am and I don't know who you are. But I was a great sinner and Jesus is a great savior. And he'd smile and they'd leave and he'd go, well, I don't know who you are. I don't know who I am. But I was a great sinner. Boy, he had one track on his mind. He knew that Christ had forgiven him. That's all to the end. No condemnation. No frustration. Did you know he could lay in that bed for two years and witness for Christ? And that was God's plan. No longer a ship captain, no longer a famous man, a sick old man dying. No frustration. Useful to God. Never separated from his love. The summary of the helmet could be stated as a series of declarations of why we can never really ever feel guilty or condemned or hopeless or useless or lonely or fearful or frustrated ever again. This is ours if we wear the helmet.